This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these abstract cube icons using Adobe Illustrator CC. So let's go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new document and the document uh, size is going to be 1920 by 1080 in pixels. Go ahead and click create and then we want to set up our document for work. So to do that I'm going to go to view and I'm going to turn off snap to pixel and then we should be good to get started. So the first thing we want to do is draw a polygon. So we'll come over here to where the rectangle tool and click and hold on that till we get the flyout menu and go down to where it says polygon tool and then hold shift and alt on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a, a polygon like that. And now what we want to do is color this in. So up, I'm going to double click this uh, white shade right here and I'm just going to make this red by uh, bringing this space to the top right. Go ahead and click OK. And I want to get rid of that uh, that black outline by just coming coming up here to this drop down and just selecting the red slash from this second drop down here, and that gets rid of that. And then we'll take the opacity up here and just bring this down to about in half. Doesn't have to be exactly in half, just roughly in half like that. And what I want to do now is rotate this around so that the corners are sitting vertically instead of sitting on its flat sides like that. So I'm going to come over to the rotate tool, which is right here. And I'm going to click and drag on the polygon, it's going to, and if you'll notice, it's going to start rotating it. And once I'm rotating it, I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard to lock it to 45 degree angles and rotate it around a couple of times until you notice the blue outline with the corners running vertically like you see here on my screen. Now we can let go of everything, and now we have the polygon set to how we want it. And what we want to do now is alter the size. So we'll come up here to the, uh, I'll come back to the select tool, and where it says width, Make sure you have this lock icon turned on. We don't want it off, we want it on like that. And I'm gonna change the W width, I'm gonna change this to 600. So I'll write 600 and hit enter. And I should make that to 600 pixels wide. And now I wanna al align this on the artboard. So I'll come over here to this drop down right here and make sure you have align to artboard selected. And then we'll align it on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis like that. And it should be aligned on the artboard as such. I'm just going to move the page over so it's more centered on my screen. If you'd like to move the page around, you can just press down the space bar, then click and drag. That's how, that's how you can do that. So what I want to do now is create a duplicate copy of this shape. So I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag to create a duplicate copy like that. And I'm going to take this duplicate copy and make this red just so we can uh, differentiate it from the other object. And then I want to hold Control on the keyboard and grab this bottom left corner of the blue object and click and drag and snap it onto this red corner right here, just like that. And now I want to create another duplicate copy by holding Alt and clicking and dragging on that. And then I'll hold Control again, and I'll take this bottom right corner over here and snap it onto this bottom corner of the red object like that. And now what I want to do is click and drag over everything, over all three, click and drag, drag through all three objects so we have them all selected. And then we'll come over here to the Shape Builder tool and what we're going to do with the Shape Builder tool, if you notice, if you, hold, if you hover the cursor over each section, it's going to highlight the overlapping areas and intersecting areas as separate objects. And what we could do with the Shape Builder tool is hold Alt and then click on this blue area out here to get rid of that. And this is a quick alternative to using the Pathfinder tool like I did in previous tutorials. So today we're going to work with the Shape Builder tool, which I think is uh, it, it could be a lot faster once you get a handle on it. So again, let's hold Alt and delete this blue area outside of here so that we just have these two areas left. Then we'll go back to the Select tool and click and drag off, I mean click off of everything to deselect it. And we'll take this red object right here and just press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And then uh, you could take this blue object right here on the bottom and we could just make that a different shade, maybe green, just make that a different color for now so we could differentiate it from the blue object. And what we want to do now is create a rectangle. So let's hold the uh, click and drag over the pop, click and hold the polygon tool and select rectangle. And I'm just going to click and drag to create a long rectangle like that. And I'm going to make this black and I'll bring the opacity of this down in half. And then I'll make the width of this up here where it says rectangle width. I'll change this to 100. 100 and hit enter. And I'll grab the select tool again. And I want to grab the object by its center and just center it up on the green object here. You'll notice it'll snap in the pink text. It'll say center and it should snap to there. 
just like that. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna just move this over. I'll hold shift and click on the green object and go back to the shape builder tool. And then I'll hold alt and click on this area up here to get rid of that. And then I'll hold alt again and click on this area down here to get rid of that. And then we can go to the select tool, click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And then click on just this black rectangle and click and drag it down and then hold shift and click and drag it down until you get a pink vertical line at the top of it that says intersect where it intersects with the, uh, the, uh, the bottom node of the blue object just like that. And that's what we want. We can go ahead and let go of that there. And then we can hold shift and click on the green object and go back to the shape builder tool and just hold alt and click and drag through the black area like that to delete both to de delete that segment. And once we've done that, we can go back to the select tool and we can take this object and duplicate it by alt and clicking and dragging. And I'll make this one red. And then I just want to flip this one around. So I'm going to come over here to the rotate tool and click and hold on that to get the reflect tool. And then I'll click and drag this around, but I'll hold shift to lock it onto 45 degree angles until we rotate it around like that. And then I'll hold, actually I'll go back to the select tool. Then I'll hold control and take this node down here and just snap it onto this green node right there like that. And what we'll do now is just click on this blue object and let's alt click that to create a duplicate copy and just leave that over there for now. We're going to come back to that in a minute. And then I'll create another duplicate copy by alt clicking. And then I'm going to hold control and take this right corner and snap it onto the red corner right here, just like that. And then I'll go to the, uh, I'll hold shift and click on the other blue object. So we have both blue objects selected and I'll go to the, uh, back to the pathfinder tool, hold alt, click this segment and then click that segment to get rid of it. And we'll go back to the select tool. We'll alt click this, hold alt, click and drag to create a duplicate copy, hold control, grab this node right here and snap it onto this node like that. And now we're going to take this blue object right here, hold control, actually, you know what, click on that blue object, then hold control and grab this right corner right here and just click and drag this and snap it onto this bottom right red corner right there like that. Actually, you know what, I got that wrong. Hold control, take that node and bring it to this corner right here, the inside red corner. My apology. So uh, let's go to the pen tool now. We're going to draw a shape. Snap the cursor onto this corner right here and click. Then to this corner. Then to this corner. Then to this one. And then back to the starting point. And we'll make that green. So let's go to the select tool. Uh, click on that object. We'll make it green. And then I'll right click that and go to arrange. And send to the back. And I'll take the opacity of that and bring that down about in half. And now what I'll do is I'll click on this blue object here, this one down here, then hold shift and click on this red object. And we'll go back to the pathfinder tool. Then I'll hold alt and click on this blue segment right there to get rid of that. And now we go back to the select tool, click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And now we want to take this green object right here and hold alt and click and drag it to create a duplicate copy. And I'll make this one red. And we want to go back to the, uh, the reflect tool over here and hold shift and just rotate it around. So it's vertically opposite like that. You know what? Maybe uh, I'm going to rotate it around a little more. There we go. That's what we want, right? I'm sorry. No, what we want is that right there. We can go to the select tool, hold control, grab this bottom left corner, snap it onto this bottom left corner, this bottom right corner of the green object right there, and then hold shift, click on the green object, and go back to the pathfinder tool. And we're going to delete this segment right here by holding alt and clicking on that. And we'll delete, uh, hold alt, we'll delete this segment too. So hold alt and click on that. We'll go back to the select tool. We'll click and drag over everything and click on the opacity slider, bring it all the way up, click off it to deselect everything. Then we want to take this red object right here, click on that, right click it and go to arrange, send back, uh, send to the back, 
and click off it to deselect everything. And you'll notice we now have our shape drawn. We just have to color it in appropriately now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and click on all of the blue objects, all three of them. And I'm going to double click the color right here. And I'm going to make them like a lighter shade of blue. Something like that. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe a little something like that. That's pretty good. Go ahead and click OK. Then I'll click this red object. Hold shift, click the other red objects. So we have them both selected. And I'll make them a deeper shade of blue. Double click the color right there and just change this to a, uh, a like a mid-tone of blue. Something like, something like that. Maybe a little darker. That's pretty good. Go ahead and click OK. And then I'll click on the green object, hold shift, click on the other green object. And I'll make this the same shade of blue this is by going to the dropper and clicking on that. But then I'll double click that color and I'll just make it darker. Like that and go ahead and click OK. And then we can grab the select tool and click off it to deselect everything and as you see we finished our little abstract cube using Adobe Illustrator. So that's how you can create something like that in Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.